Hello everyone, this is a showcase slash proof of concept slash PSA about a little thing that I've cooked up that I call eavesdropper. So what is this about? Basically, if you're on a Minecraft server and you send anything in chat, uh, that can be intercepted and the server can see it and can log it and stuff like that. But also, you don't even have to send the message. Uh, you can just be typing stuff and the server can intercept it. So I'm going to show that in just a second. Uh, so let's say we have these two players on the server, right? We have me and we have my best friend, Organ Muncher. And let's say I want to send my best friend a message. So we do message, uh, Organ Muncher, and then like, hello. And then uh, this guy replies back. So we message back, sign names to player, uh, hi, right? All's good. But uh, you might have noticed we have a third player on the server, and this is known hacker Malcolm Warecraft. And Malcolm Warecraft wants to know what uh, we're talking about. So Malcolm Warecraft, uh, as the operator of the server, can install a malicious plugin or, you know, yeah, just install a plugin. Uh, and that's, the, uh, in this case, that's eavesdropper. So uh, we can eavesdrop and set it to level one eavesdropping. Uh, now, what does that allow us to do, right? So now, whenever I message, um, who am I? Oh, message organ muncher, um, hey, right? Now, um, we can eavesdrop on it. So you've probably known about this, that whenever you send a command, the server can see it um, and, you know, admins can see it and stuff like that. So your private messages aren't really that private. And that's, again, that's a known thing. But what I want to bring awareness to is um, that you don't even have to send the message for the server to be able to intercept it. So if we um, set eavesdrop level to two, you know, now we're getting into the good stuff. Um, I can, Organ Muncher can reply and Organ Muncher can message, sign names to player, um, super secret message, right? And then let's say, I'm like, actually, I know that the server can intercept that, so let's let's not send it. Uh, but as you might have noticed, you know, Malcolm Warcraft already has all of that. He already has our trade secrets and can do whatever he wants with them. So this is pretty dangerous. Uh, and let me explain how this works, right? So basically, whenever you're typing a command, um, all of the stuff that you type gets sent to the server because the server needs to be able to tell you back what to autocomplete. So if we go back here, right? And for example, I want to type, I'm going to use one of my plugins as a demo. Obviously this would work with anything. If we type like slash web dash, which I have here, uh, you can see that there's this whole list of subcommands. Um, and for the game, or I guess for the, for the client, uh, to know what to complete here, it has to ask the server, hey, you know, I've typed slash web dash, what can I put here? And then the server responds with, oh, there's add help info, blah, 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 blah. But again, for that, the whole string needs to be sent. So if I were to type web dash, um, I don't know, list, no, which one? Uh, okay, it doesn't matter too much. But basically, let's say there was a third sub command, right? Um, that would depend on what I typed here. So the server needs to be able to see everything. And so in the case of slash message, right? If I do slash message, um, it, it sends the whole string even if there's spaces and you know the server can intercept it. Uh, this depends on this little thing called the tab complete event in the bucket API, which basically it sends the, the whole command argument thing whenever uh, you request something. Now, this does not work for vanilla commands. I should mention this. So if I do slash W as in whisper, uh, you can see that this looks kind of different. And then if I start typing, uh, you know, let's, let's message Malcolm Warecraft this time. And I start typing, um, hey man, this doesn't get sent because this is a vanilla command. And for some reason, those don't uh, get checked. I think, I think the client handles everything. Uh, but as you can see, you know, I can do a slash message and that doesn't fall to the vanilla command, that falls to my custom command that I've written. That's why it works here. Um, so the add A, add N stuff is missing. That's because I re-implemented all of this. Uh, but, you know, if you do it convincingly enough, no one will be able to tell. Um, or, yeah, pretty much. So just be aware of that, that when you're typing a command, and even if I do like game mode, oh wait, no, that one's fine, right? Uh, but if I do any any other plugin-based command, then, I don't know, add coins, I don't know what that is, but yeah, you can see any any server-based command, any plugin-based command, sorry, uh, is going to get sent. So yeah, just be, just be careful of the stuff that you're sending in chat, and not just sending, but uh, just typing, even if you're not sending it, you know, we can see it. Uh, again, one more thing that I want to mention, if you're just typing, like, hey there, that's fine. Uh, no one can intercept that because you're not auto-completing anything. But as soon as you start messaging someone, uh, if the server uses a custom message plugin, which you might not be able to tell, uh, maybe there's a way, but it's, you know, it's not obvious. Um, it, it can be intercepted. Okay, that's all. Goodbye.